Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for your November 2024. Second half of your November 2024 from the 16th to the 30th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, switch the roles if you want, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that is dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. All right, so Aquarius, what messages do we have here for Aquarius in love and the person that they are connecting with for November 2024? Second half of their November 2024 from the 16th to the 30th. Okay, so we have the hangman, Piscean energy, the seven of cups, excuse me, the world. Ugh. Eight of cups, nine of cups, and the devil, Capricorn energy. Uh, you know, I feel like there's a situation here that's really confusing. You know, I just feel like somebody here got caught up in an illusion here. Okay. Um, I feel like there is a situation where I feel like someone here is having a hard time walking away from this because I feel like someone here is either obsessed or that there is strong energetic cords tied to this individual here. And no matter how hard someone here tries to walk away, they keep going back to this toxic energy here. The devil capricorn energy tell me the uh hangman the hangman here and the judgment card sagittarius energy seven of cups and also the ace of wands the world why is the world card here and also the hermit virgo energy eight of cups and the death card scorpio energy Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups and also the Devil and the King of Wands here. There is a situation that ended here. And I feel like someone here is definitely trying to get you to eat the poison apple again. This situation with this individual here has been incredibly toxic here. Volatile. Tumultuous here. Okay. If there is any sort of reconnection here, Aquarius, there will be a fight again. Or that th these issues that you had with this individual here has not been resolved. And I feel like you're trying to do everything that you can to keep your distance from this individual here. But it's almost like the call, pull of this person's energy is really strong and you must fight it here. What else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? Uh, tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Aquarius? Okay, the Three of Swords, the Emperor, Aries Energy, the Lovers, that's not the Lovers, I'm so sorry, the Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so what is this person's true feelings and intentions here towards you? It, it does seem like they're trying to rush back in to reignite this connection here, but I, I do get the sense that there is someone here that's trying to free themselves from this connection. Okay, somebody here had their heart broken over and over and over and over again. There is deep, still deep love that you have for this person here, Aquarius, 
but I feel like you can't be in it anymore, or that you can't be with this person. Let's see what else we have. So the Knight of Swords, Leap, Aquarius, Gemini, the Emperor, Aries, Energy, the Nine, the Nine, Nine of Pentacles, Pre-Empress, Energy here, Three of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor, and also the Ten of Pentacles, okay. This is someone that's feeling very feeling very lonely without you here. They're definitely missing this relationship here, but I, I do feel like there's kind of like this person definitely has like dark negative forces that's in around them. And I just feel like, you know, when you're around this person, you know, I just feel like this person's energy completely drains you. It's going to be dealing with like an energy vampire here. Look at this. We have the Six of Wands here and the Two of Cups. Knight of Swords here and the Five of Swords. Yeah, this person's trying to win you back. This person is trying to get you under their spell here. Okay? So, you know, I just feel like you really have to protect yourself here, energetically here, when it comes to this individual. Because I do feel like this person definitely has some sort of strong energetic hold on you. They're trying to energetically work on you to, basically, to get you back. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know? Look out for work on for November 2024. Second half of their November 2024 from the 16th to the 30th. Okay, so we have the I don't know, I I don't know why I drew an extra card, but whatever. So we have the five of pentacles here and the higher fent Taurus energy. Eight of Swords. Five of Cups. Four cups. Oh, actually, I drew the right amount. I thought I drew seven cards here. I was going to drew six. Okay. Um, so what else do you guys need to know, look out for, work on here? Yeah, you know, just be careful here, Aquarius. I just feel like you guys are definitely setting yourself up for more disappointment here and more hurt here. Don't let this energy control you, you know? You're in control here. Nobody else. Yeah, nobody else here. You're strong, okay? Um, you will be able to keep yourself away from this energy here. Like, I also feel like if you aren't able to do it, like, I feel like it's important for you to work with the energy worker here to clear out whatever attachments that you have with this individual, all right? The uh, Five of Pentacles here. And the Queen of Wands. We have the King to Queen of Wands. That's a true pair, you guys. It does seem like you're dealing with like, like, like a Karmic here. The Hierophant here and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to protect yourself. I feel like you're trying to do the right thing for yourself here. But I almost feel like the call, the pull is too strong. This person definitely has some sort of dark entities in and around this person here. Because it's almost like I feel like they're... Uh, energetically, you feel like your life is being sabotaged here. Or that your life has not been the same since you met this person. There's definitely uh, there's definitely uh, some sort of energetic work that needs to be done here. The Seven of Swords here and the Five of Wands. The Four of Cups and the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords here. Yeah, they're not going to let you go that easily. And I just feel like this person's energies doesn't really match who they are. It does seem like this person's wear, wearing uh, she, uh, wolves in a sheep's clothing here for sure. So, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right? Thanks, guys. Bye.